How did the matte black fusion work after it sat outside for a year on this radiator support? Let's get it started. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Coatings in Ozark, Missouri, where they do media blasting, powder coating, big or small, they do it all. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. As you can see, the matte black has actually started to rust again, get some surface rust on it. I used it on this end, and I used it all the way over right here on this end. And it did the same thing right here as far as starting to get surface rust. So as far as the matte black goes, I would not use that on anything that's going to be outside whatsoever at all because you're just wasting your money. It doesn't have enough finish in it to stop the surface rust from starting back. So I would not use matte black on anything like uh, lawn furniture or anything like that whatsoever at all if you're planning on it to be staying outside for long periods of time. Here's what it looks like in real life against the post that I paint most of these on and I just let sit forever. This is the matte black. As you can see, a lot of uh, discoloration or whatever you want to call it. It's uh, in that uh, surface rust that started. So this is real light. And I did clean that off uh, with the window spray, so that is not dust. And here's the difference between the satin and it, and then the gloss black and it. Thank you for watching the video on the black fusion paint. There is a lot more videos on the black between the matte black, gloss black, and the satin black. And I do other videos on spray paint as well. Thank you for watching once again. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put it very wet. Don't put spray paint. You can't get this stuff very wet. I do a lot of videos on spray paint because this is stuff you're going to use outside. I have lawn furniture as much as the rest of y'all do. And I want to make sure that whatever I use on it is going to last me more than just one season or less than one season. So I want to make sure that that's the case on this stuff. And I want to make sure that you guys choose the right paint for the right job. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're right or hard, don't put it very wet. Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're doing a bit. We're doing today on the Road Hard Roadhouse. We're doing videos. Are you doing anything out there? I am doing stuff. I'm gonna wait. I'm hanging About your head level, where your head's at is where you need to do it. All right. What? In order to make an Easter egg, you're gonna need to do it about your head level. Well, no, no, no. You gotta shut it, or else it looks like you're doing it on purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, like Is your fingers. Head? Your fingers about head level will probably work. Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're doing a little videos on spray paint. And, <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> all right the, today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're doing video. Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're doing a video on black matte spray paint and how well did it work and how well is it going to work for you on lawn furniture that may be outside for a year. Like on this case, I put a radiator support outside, I sprayed it down with this matte black spray paint. And how well did it work? Just check it. Thank you.